Welcome back everyone to this next episode and we're going to be working on the engine here and the wheels. Just a quick check here. This looks good. Got the rear view mirror there in place. Looks really good. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So that'll go up to the side. And now let's get this puppy all put together. One thing that's I find odd about the this old kit is uh, none of these are are numbered on the trees. None of them. So you're you're basically you're just uh, stuck to looking at the pictures and making sure you identify the correct um, part that goes where it's supposed to. At least in the instructions, it gives, gives it pretty accurate on um, where it's each part is supposed to go. So that makes it okay. So I'll retouch up the paint where it needs to be touched up. Uh, okay. so that. These are the axles. I don't really need to worry about painting those. But you really won't see them. All right. You can get these at any paint store. And uh, they're very, very helpful. When you're doing the glue, try to get the glue on the inside corners, uh, at the edges. That way you avoid as much as possible the glue coming out, squeezing out. Oops. Just a wee bit of a problem here. Just a wee bit. The engine refuses to stay together. So. Gotta clamp it. I'm just going to have to let that set before I can do anything more with the engine. Alright, so that's how the time to set. It's all holding together now quite nicely. <clears throat> so, I've got all the engine parts here. Just going to... So this part goes on here. That. 
There. Okay. Um, all right. Now we got uh, the alternator here. It needs to go with the belt and pulley system here. So, according to the instructions, the alternator goes on here. Okay, now, this chrome, and glue won't stick to chrome, so... i got to get the chrome off, revealing bare plastic. And then, stick it on there. Just like that. And then these go on there. Okay, this doesn't make sense. According to the instructions, that's where it goes. Oh, that's the alternator. It's already on the belt system. So why do they want that on there? There's already an alternator right there. And they wanted the instructions had that one there. Unless that was for the alternate version of like the souped up version of this Cadillac DeVille. All right, well, okay, that, that makes sense then. Okay, because they have two different versions of the, uh, the DeVille. One's the souped up futuristic kind of version of it. Now we got uh, the fan goes on the center there. I got to shave off. Chrome and then pop that on there. Okay, there we go. So now we got, uh, let's see. The valve covers here. Gotta make sure I got the names the proper way around so it's not upside down. That would be embarrassing. <sighs> um, okay. I like these different versions of the. can use to uh, scrape stuff off <laughs> okay let me double sure it's gonna be right side up okay Customer gave me photos of his car. Okay, so the valve covers on his car are not chrome. They are uh, a light blue. So I have to repaint these into that color. But I'll do that after. So I got... Uh, carburetor here
off the picture the uh, the intake is just off to the side like that which is good all right um, now we just got the two exhaust ports here that need to go on one here one on the other side Okay. So I'm just going to let that the glue set before I do any more painting on that. So let's move on to the wheels here. Okay, so we got the wheel assembly and uh, steering rods and all that stuff to go on there. But for right now, we're just going to be worrying about the wheels here. Get those assembled. Okay, let's see here. So, doing the rears first. Make sure you know like having the white walls out. <laughs> the fronts. We got this goes on. Then this. Top, and then this goes on over top of that. Okay, all right. are all set now. Ah, la, 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 la. Okay. Now comes the uh, the actual steering system. All right. Uh, la, 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 la. that way if I could hold it. My fingers are so big. on 
All right, now I'm gonna work on the rear section here. <clears throat> so I got these two pieces here. Um, these are rear blocks and they go inside these little slots on the backs here. here. Yeah. Okay, so just got to let that set now. glued the tires I don't want this thing rolling the customer goes into display and then he pick, picks up the display and it starts walking around or whatever and then the thing rolls and it falls on the floor breaks so we don't want that uh, let's see here okay okay so it's had time to set a bit now so I'm just gonna paint that blue and do the rest of the touch-up painting around the engine here where you can still see the yellow color you want to get that covered up There we go. Looks good. Yeah, about as close as I could to uh, this engine there. Looks not too bad. 
Oh, yep. And got this all painted up now, so it looks good. Okay, so that's all ready to go. That's ready to go for installation. Do a test fitting. And there we go. That's it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we are going to be doing the final assembly and the last of the wiring for the headlights and the brakes. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. And please check out my website, www.epicmodels.com. See you all again later. Bye-bye.